Hello, my name is Dr. David Edward Poon, founder of the Faces of Advocacy. <laughs> we won! We actually succeeded! I can't, honestly, I'm still in shock. We did it, guys. Families. <laughs> I can't. I'm, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to everyone who's been part of this movement. Let's go through this step by step. To the ministries of health, public safety, and IRCC, thank you. To all the workers in those ministries, I know you've put in a lot of hours to face an incredibly challenging and complex issue during a unprecedented pandemic. You guys put a lot of tireless hours in. You guys probably lost a lot of sleep to solve something that wasn't easy, that had a number of different factors. And most of all, I am aware of the political pressures and public perceptions that you would have had to face. So thank you to every worker and employee at the ministries of health, IRCC and public safety. Thank you for bringing families together. It was so much and we are just so grateful. To all the media who focused on us when we were just a small little campaign, thank you. Thank you for giving us a platform to speak on behalf of Canadians. Thank you for giving us a legitimacy that we could be seen and we could be heard. Thank you for being there at the start, for being here now, and for hopefully being with us in the future. To every member of parliament who stood with us, thank you. From the bottom of my heart and on behalf of all the faces of advocacy, thank you. We know it was your decision. It wasn't the decision of a party. We know that there were a lot of political pressures and challenges that you had to navigate through, but you did the right thing. And we thank you for that. We promise you that when election day comes or whenever you need us, we will remember the good work you've done. And we will tell Canadians of all the things that you did. I'll have more to say in the coming days to you guys specifically, but every MP, thank you. To all those who are feeling left out because the exemptions don't quite fit, or to those who feel that the current system isn't going to work for them to reunite, we will not stop fighting for you, and we will advocate for those who cannot. The Faces of Advocacy had your support, and we will continue to support you. We just got to figure out how. To every member of the Faces of Advocacy, to every supporter we had, not only in Canada, but the rest of the world, and most importantly, to the team, thank you. Thank you a thousand times over. Thank you 3,000 times over, but thank you so much. Thank you for giving me your trust and faith in this campaign. You guys have, have never needed a leader, but thank you for following me nonetheless. We will have much more to say in the coming days. We will discuss exactly how the exemptions work and we will figure out a way to do it safely. Because most importantly at the end, to the people of Canada and to the Canadian public, I know you are afraid. I know you are worried. We're afraid too. We're also worried. But we will be worthy of your trust. We will follow public health guidelines. We will follow CBSA mandates and we will respect quarantine. You are allowing us to reunite with our families. We don't want to get our families sick. We don't want our mothers sick. We don't want our sisters sick. We don't want our loved ones sick. We don't want yours sick either. Thank you again to everyone. Honestly, sincerely, thank you.